In the 2023 Christmas update, the Sledger has returned as a limited time game pass and it has gotten a significant buff to its DPS, but its freezing ability has been reworked. In this video, I'll be going over all the stat changes, values, and uses of the Sledger to help you decide if it's worth buying and whether or not it was actually buffed or nerfed. So hit that like button and subscribe and let's get started. Before this update, the Sledger used to cost 350 cash to place and dealt 4 damage, had a swing rate of 2.008, a range of 6, could hit 1 enemy at a time, and a DPS of 1.99. And now costs 800 cash to place, deals 8 damage, has a swing rate of 1.758, 6.5 range, and a DPS of 4.55. It also slows enemies by 30% every time it hits them. The level 1 Sledger used to cost a total of 600 cash, dealt 6 damage, had a fire rate of 2.008, 6 range, could hit 1 enemy at a time, and had a DPS a 2.99 and now costs a total of 1350 cash deals 15 damage has a swing rate of 1.758 6.5 range can hit a max of two enemies has a dps of 8.53 and slows enemies by 30 percent the level 2 sledger used to cost a total of 1100 cash deal 8 damage had a swing rate of 1.758 could hit two enemies at a time and had a dps of 4.55 and now costs a total of 3600 cash deals 20 damage has a swing rate of 1.508 7 range 3 max hits 13.26 DPS and slows enemies by 30%. The level 3 Sledger used to cost a total of 2,600 cash and dealt 15 damage at a swing rate of 1.758, 6 range, 2 max hits, a DPS of 8.53, and froze enemies for 2 seconds. And now costs a total of 7,350 cash, deals 40 damage, has a swing rate of 1.508, 7 range, 3 max hits, a DPS of 26.53, slows enemies by 50%, and shortly freezes enemies after 2 swings. The level 4 Sledger used to cost a total of 5,100 cash and dealt 35 damage at a swing rate of 1.5. 8, 6 range, 2 max hits, a DPS of 23.21, and it dealt 2 times damage to frozen enemies. And now costs a total of 14,850 cash, deals 60 damage, has 7 range, 4 max hits, 39.79 DPS, and it also deals 2 times damage to frozen enemies. Finally, the level 5 Sledger used to cost a total of 13,600 cash, dealt 50 damage, had a swing rate of 1.258, 6 range, 4 max hits, and 39.75 DPS. And now costs a total of 37,350 cash, deals 115 damage, has a swing rate of 1.358, 7.5 range, 5 max hits, 88.37 DPS, and enemies remain frozen for a longer time. The three biggest changes that this tower received are its DPS, cost, and freezing. Starting with its DPS, its max single target DPS has gone from 39.75 to 88.37, which is a huge increase. Although, because the freeze duration is so short, the new Sledger can't benefit from the 2 times damage against frozen enemies by itself. It would have to have another tower freeze the enemies for it. With this damage increase, the old Sledger used to deal 59.62 DPS. While this is still significantly less than the update the Sledger, it currently costs 23,750 cash more than it used to. That means its value went from 4.38 DPS per 1k spent to only 2.37. So against single targets, its DPS has actually gotten better, but its value is significantly worse. But what about a crowd of enemies? The old Sledger could hit 4 enemies, letting it deal a max of 238.48 DPS. The new Sledger can hit 5 enemies, letting it deal an incredible 441.85 DPS. That gives it a value of 11.83, which is actually a decrease from the previous 17.54. To summarize, the Sledger has gotten a significant buff to its DPS, but also a big nerf to its value. That means it'll be less effective in the mid game, yet better in the late game. Now, what about its stalling? For the first two levels, it has gotten much better as it now slows enemies by 30% instead of not slowing them at all. However, once you get past level 3, it's much worse. It now takes two swings for it to freeze enemies, and they thaw out really quickly. It used to freeze enemies every hit for two whole seconds, which was a lot better than what it does now. There's a bit of a debate about how important stalling is, but I personally find it very useful. It can be a great help against difficult waves, allowing you to save money and farm better. So the viability of the new Sledger kind of depends on what you want it for. Six Sledgers can give you a potential 2,651 1.8 DPS against crowds of enemies. But if you want to stall things, I'd probably go with some of the other towers like the Freezer. Overall, I think the Sledger is worse than it was before, and I'm going to rank it as a solid A tier. Previously, it was S tier, with the nerfs to its value and stalling, I'm not so sure anymore. But let me know what you guys think. Is it better or worse? And make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. I'll see you guys in the next video.